March is Autoimmune Disease Awareness Month, a time to shed light on the conditions that affect millions worldwide. Some that you might be familiar with, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, but auto autoimmune diseases can be complex and challenging to manage. Joining us today is Dr. Brooke Goldner, the author of Goodbye Lupus. Good morning, Dr. Goldner. Good morning and thanks for having me on today because this is serious. This affects about one in 15 Americans, different autoimmune diseases. So it's important to raise awareness for what people can do. Well, for sure. So tell, tell us first, help us explain what is an autoimmune disease. So autoimmune diseases are a variety of diseases. There's about 80 that have been diagnosed so far, although the most common ones, as you mentioned, are ones like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, psoriasis, immobile sclerosis. These are diseases where your immune system, which is supposed to be the thing that attacks the enemies, like the viruses or cancer cells or bacteria, gets disrupted and it starts attacking the body instead. And so depending on where it attacks, it gets different diagnoses, like rheumatoids in the joints. Lupus can be anywhere. I was diagnosed with lupus in 16 and it was in my kidneys, caused blood clots. So they can cause a lot of suffering and pain. Do we know what causes autoimmune diseases? Well, originally, back when I was in med school over 20 years ago, we thought it was all genetics. But what we've learned more recently is genetics is like your menu of the potential things that you can get, but your lifestyle is what places the order. And so, for example, we know that autoimmune diseases have been on the rise over the past 40 years, and they've been able to show no change in genetics, but the rise actually follows the spread and rise of the Western diet around the world. So we know one of the largest triggers is actually the way people are eating. Yeah, I was actually recently listening to a podcast, too, that was talking about how women are more likely to be diagnosed with autoimmune diseases. And so perhaps it has something to do with stress as well. Is that one of the theories that you think that you believe in? Absolutely. So there's many different lifestyle triggers that are involved. And so emotional distress, trauma, anxiety, also poor sleep patterns are all involved as well. My book, Goodbye Autoimmune Disease, is about all the stuff besides diet that makes us sick. And you're right. Uh, women are especially affected. There's a hormonal component, most likely, as well. I know I got it during puberty. A lot of times it's during um, menopause as well. Uh -huh. But also women tend to take on a lot of stress and they put so much effort into caretaking. They don't even you know, look after themselves, their own sleep, their own stress management. What are some of the common symptoms of autoimmune diseases? Because I hear a lot just how challenging it is to get a diagnosis. Are the symptoms like really vague or something? It can take many years for a lot of people to get diagnosed. And I think it's because the original starting symptoms are often things like fatigue, brain fog, maybe aches and pains where you don't have positive lab tests yet. Your doctor might say, ah, you know, take a weekend off, maybe just try to do some meditation when really what's going on is the brewing of that autoimmune disease. So for some folks, their labs don't even show they're sick for years after those symptoms begin. Yeah, in a lot of cases, there are ways to treat the symptoms of autoimmune diseases. There are medications for the symptoms. Can you explain uh, the treatment that you prefer? Well, you know, there's a combination of things. So if you have an autoimmune disease, it's good to see your doctor because medical treatments can be life-saving. When I was diagnosed at 16, I needed a lot of medication to save my kidneys at the time. Uh, so medications can help with slowing down these uh, diseases and help with symptoms, but not for everybody. Uh, I'm a specialist in a new field of medicine called disease reversal, where we look at how do you unorder the stuff that's on that menu? How do you get yourself back? And so what I do is I help people actually get their symptoms better and even improve their lives by teaching them good self-care, monitoring their sleep, and eating in a way that encourages cellular repair, like eating a very dense uh, plant-based diet where you get lots of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. Uh, John Hopkins has shown broccoli alone uh, helps you fight the flu virus and helps you kill cancer cells in addition to helping reverse things like autoimmune diseases. So more and more research is showing that if we can really focus on high-nutrient plant-based eating and managing our our stress that not only can we prevent these diseases, but we can get better. I mean, I've been lupus free now over 19 years just by making those changes where it took a lot of medicine to keep me alive before then. Yeah. All right. Dr. Brooke Goldner, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Always my pleasure. Thanks for having me on.